This is the hyperbaric chamber number one. We took and made this out of a uh, 330 gallon propane tank. We have a polycarbonate window, 3 h thick. We have our main pressure for the tank pressure itself, regulator, second regulator matter of fact, where we keep a maximum air pressure of uh, no more than 22 pounds of max pressure <coughs> for the dive. We've got an emergency uh, pop-off in the back, so that's at a 22. That's the air intake here. We'll go ahead and plug this in. Turn the valve on. It should read about 20 pounds. I control everything on the inside. This is the outlet valves here, or outlet, the valves on the inside. Now at the end is where we cut the hatch. We cut the whole end of it out. There's the hatch. And we actually took and turned it around backwards and put a ring around it with a seal. And plus around the tank itself, I have a seal around the tank. And I just hold it up there, set it on the bolts right here. Holds it up and it seals itself automatically. And just as soon as a little bit of pressure gets in there, it's not going to come open. And we've got emergency air release for somebody on the outside to open uh, open up the air valve, release the pressure. On the inside there, there over on the right side is the oxygen for 100% oxygen breathing. Above that. I got a depth gauge. You can just make it out. That tells the depth. Like if I was diving uh, underwater. And there is the two valves. There's the uh, pressure valve for the tank pressure in the back. And the next one up in front is the air release valve. And that's all there is to it. There's still a few things I want to do. It's kind of hard to get in and out, scooting in and back and forth. Put a roller in here. But there she is, the homemade hyperbaric chamber. Big tank of oxygen on the back. Got to turn it on. up and that's all there is to it